here they're used to set 250 bales of hay and from this devastating fire that swooped through here took out this family's hay that they've been feeding their horses and cattle and then you can see how close they came to losing everything when it comes to their home the disaster relief fund helps bring in hay like this that we're working in now to get to calves that their mother's bags are burned so bad that they can't feed their calves so thanks to the dairymen who have donated whether it's hay, whether it's dairy cows that are helping feed calves, hay that's helping feed horses and cows. Help out the, the link to donate to the Disaster Relief Fund is in the caption below. Let's help out our friends here in Texas. mama's udders were burned so bad that they won't let their babies nurse so <clears throat> some folks donated some dairy cows <clears throat> these calves went through some stress we're trying to get them to eat for the viewers at home what are some tips and tricks to help out here <clears throat> some of these calves it's clear they don't feel very good. So we'll give them a little bit of vitamin and minerals just to really make them hungry, get them to start eating. And then these dairy cows have, ne have never had a calf nurse them before. So we're also teaching them to let a calf nurse, but really just want to get them to smell that, to smell the milk, get it on their nose. Feel empty. I think those other two dairy cows let these calves nurse just a little bit. Yeah, I mean, they're these two both just peed, so it's not like they're totally without. Cute little buggers, aren't they? <clears throat> it's been pretty tough seeing these cows like the calves are hungry and they want to eat and they, they go up and they, they try to nurse and then the cows kick them off because their teats and udder are burned. Not this cow right here is a dairy cow. Yeah, this is a You're dairy talking cow. About yeah, this one's fine. But that got affected, yeah, these cows, yeah, it's pretty hard to watch. Yeah. And then there, some of them that went through the fire, those cows, they lose their feet, they get burned and they slough is what they call it. Their feet start to, they're sloughing and that, it's hard to watch. I thought it'd be easier because they're not my cows, but it's not. Yeah. It's not any easier. Was this the uh, Smokehouse Creek fire? <clears throat> yeah, this is where the Smokehouse Creek fire started. Harrison County, is that what it is? Hutchinson. Hutchinson. I believe so. Hutchinson? Hutchinson. Hutchinson County. We'll fact check it and put it right down here in the video. Ding. One million acres. Oh yeah, over a million acres burned. It was only a mile to two miles wide here, and then by the time it got to Canadian, it was 90 miles wide. That's insane. Over 3,000 head have been confirmed, burned and died, and then, I mean, there's gonna be a lot more. Afterwards, they, yeah. yeah. Some that need to be put down that can't walk or been burned feet. up, lose their feet, lose their udder. Yeah, it's tough.